I'm going to talk about Medicare enrollment periods, the time frames when you can enroll into Medicare. And this gets a little complicated, so something we absolutely need to understand. I'm Keith Armbrecht, founder of Medicare on Video, and I help people across the country in all 50 states make the right Medicare choices. And I can absolutely help you as well. And the best part is no cost to you to let me help you. So I hope you take advantage of everything that I have to offer because we want to make sure that we get this right. So we're going to talk right now about Medicare enrollment periods, the time frames where you need to take action on your Medicare. Now there's always questions. If you have questions after the video, feel free to give me a call, send me an email. I'm happy to help with any part of Medicare. So just reach out and I'll be happy to do what I can to make sure that we get it right. So let's look at the enrollment periods. And there are four different enrollment periods for how you handle enrollment into Medicare. So we need to understand exactly where we fall in. So you have an initial enrollment period. You have a special enrollment period, a general enrollment period, and an annual election period. So how in the world are you supposed to understand what to do within these time frames? So let's walk through it real quick. And again, at any time, give me a call, send me an email. I'll make sure in your specific situation that we do what we're supposed to do. So we don't want to mess this up. We got to make sure we get it right. So the initial enrollment period. This is where the vast majority of people will enroll into Medicare is when they are turning 65. Now things are changing a little bit these days where people work a little longer. So maybe you don't come in at 65. But if you do come in at turning 65, then it will be in the initial enrollment period. So you have a seven month window when you're turning 65 that wraps around your 65th birthday. So you have three months before, the month of, three months after to enroll into Medicare. Now, you kind of throw this out the window because that's not what you're going to do. If you want to be on Medicare when you're turning 65, you're going to do it in the three months before your 65th birthday, the month of. So we want to make sure we get it all put in place, settled, nothing to worry about, and generally best to do it 60 to 90 days out. That way we can take it off the table and we don't have to worry about it. So that's what we do is we make sure we do that. So you give us a call, send me an email. We will put those pieces in place for you and make sure that when you turn 65, everything starts exactly the way it's supposed to start. Now, special enrollment period. This is not the initial. This is the special enrollment period. This is for people that continue working after 65. So you're going to keep working, stay on your group health plan until you're 67, 68. I've had people in their 80s that are still working, coming off the group health plan. This is when you'll come into Medicare special enrollment period. Now, it works exactly like you're turning 65. So everything is no questions asked. You pick what you want. And as long as you do it correctly, there are no complications. You have an eight-month window from when you retire to start your Part B. And again, there wouldn't be any reason really to wait to start your Part B. What you don't want to do is take retiree coverage because for whatever reason, Medicare does not consider retiree coverage creditable coverage. So it's kind of complicated, but when you're going to retire, you want to set your Part B up to start right when you retire. So we want to initiate that, do it 90 days ahead of time. It takes some time to get this done. So when you know you're going to retire, give me a call, send me an email. We'll get the process started. Make sure that when you are ready to quit your job, then your Medicare is going to start. So again, you must have had creditable coverage previously so there is no penalty. And if you're on group health insurance, with your company, that's generally going to be credible coverage. So again, retiree coverage is not, but while you're working, it is. So what you're going to need is a form that's filled out by your employer that shows that you've had creditable coverage up until the time that you require that you retire. And I can absolutely get you that form. Send me an email, call me, we'll get it to you. We'll show you exactly how to handle it. And then we'll take it from there. It makes it super easy for you so that you don't have to worry about getting your I's dotted and your T's crossed. And now we're going to move on to general enrollment period. This is where it gets complicated. So if you are past age 65, you're not working or you don't have credible coverage and you are past age 65, there's late enrollment penalties. So if you didn't do what you were supposed to do when you were supposed to do it, now not only are there going to be penalties, it's going to be complicated to get it started. So, and, and, and people 
make this mistake. It's not on purpose usually. It's just not knowing what they needed to do when they needed to do it. So general enrollment period is from January 1st to March 31st. That's when you have to do something. And when you do that something, your Medicare is still not going to start until July 1st. So if you are past age 65 and you don't have credible coverage and it's November and you're now all of a sudden realizing that you need your Medicare to start, it's not going to start until next July. And you have to make your decision or your choices or your initiation in that January to March time frame. So super complicated and really, I, I'm not sure why they make it such a harsh penalty, but they do. So make sure that we take care of it ahead of time and that way we don't have to worry about a special enrollment period. Annual election period. This is one that throws people for a loop every year. So every year at the end of the year, between October and December, there's what's called annual election period, Medicare open enrollment. This is when if you're on a Medicare Advantage plan or a Medicare drug plan, you can change. You can go from one to another or another to one back and forth without any questions asked. Medicare supplement plans do not fall into annual election period, but you can change a Medicare supplement plan anytime during the year. So it's, it, it's complicated, but it's important. That's why you need somebody like me that knows the ins and the outs of this stuff to be able to be there for you when you need to have it happen. So the annual election period, again, you can make changes to a drug plan or a Medicare Advantage plan. The Sign up time is between October 15th and December 7th, and then it goes into effect on January 1st. So again, complicated, convoluted, crazy. Why they make it so complicated, I have no idea. But that's where you need some help. So again, that gives you an overview of the enrollment periods. And again, you need somebody to make sure that we put it all in the right place at the right time. Happy to help with any of that. Give me a call, send me an email. I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel. You'll have access to all my other videos. You'll get updates as they come along. And I hope you have a fantastic day.